Dan, it's been a really hard day. I've had to try pizza and barbecue and even some ice cream. And tonight they are opening the doors at opening night reception and it is a whole lot of fun. They haven't officially let everyone in, but they're letting some of the VIP passes in. People are dressed up. They've got their glasses. They're ready to fill them with wine. And they're also ready to try some really tasty bites here tonight. Earlier today, I was out on the golf course for the big celebrity chef golf tournament. The Celebrity Chef Golf Tournament is less about drives and putts and more about food, pizza and ice cream and hot dogs, all with a culinary twist. So we uh, use everything from nori, wasabi relish, house-made pickled peppers, teriyaki, spicy mayo, um, and we kind of combine that with the classic American hot dog. They call it a sumo dog. Some chefs choose to highlight flavors, others go for technique like Robert Baker and his melt-in-your-mouth Memphis barbecue. We put these on about 10 a.m. yesterday, um, strictly cherry wood locally, and basically um, I keep it at about 180 to 200 degrees, and I've been hanging out with the smoker for 26, eight hours now. The ingredients top of the line and sourced from around the world. The salmon in this poke bowl coming from the first salmon farm to get a green rating from the aquarium seafood watch. We don't use any antibiotics, we don't use any growth hormones, we don't use any pesticides, we don't vaccinate our fish. Our fish are just there, happy, swimming, free. And to cap it all off, something sweet. So it is a black tea ice cream with a house-made almond cookie. It's really delicious. All that food going to feed some of the best cooks in the world in town to whip up dishes all weekend long. We're doing something that we've never made before, and we're doing a little... Uh, uni panna cotta, like sea urchin, and then we're making like a sand out of a little breadcrumb and nori and some uh, other flavors, and then we're going to be uh, topping that with a little bit of caviar, so kind of a little ocean splash in your mouth, so that'll be fun. That was Graham Elliott, who you heard from last. He's based in Chicago, but you might know him from Cooks versus Cons or from Master Chef, some of those big Food Network shows. He's going to be doing a cooking demo starting tomorrow morning. We've also have other big names in town over the next few days. We're talking to you, Atchison, Curtis Stone, a lot of great chefs, making a lot of great food for people to check out. Dan. Look, uh, I, I know it's hard to hear me, Caitlin. What's the best thing you've had so far today? Oh, the best thing I've had so far today, it had to have been the Memphis barbecue. Uh, that's uh, Robert Baker. He's out of uh, Me and the Hound. He does Memphis barbecue. Like he said, he was out there for 26 to 28 hours making that pork shoulder. And I tried it last year and the year before, and I just can't stop myself when he offers me a piece of it. It just melts right out of the barbecue, and it is so delicious. After all that love and all that effort, it pays off. Very good. Thank you, Caitlin.